And a good day, all of you. An exhausting day it is. Jean Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today from Golden Road Brewing Company. This is the Mango Cart Mango Wheat Ale. Mango flavored wheat ale. Um, from Golden Road Brewing Company, a series of inspired by the iconic fruit cart vendors of Los Angeles. So, mango, and I'm sure a bunch of other fruits and have been to Los Angeles, but I'm sure for those who have, see the fruit guy vendor going around the beaches or some parks or whatever and you know selling fruit and whatnot. So uh Golden World Brewing Company, of course, as I said, owned based in LA, Los Angeles, City of Angels. Four percent ABV gets an 87 score beer advocate and on tap gives it a 3.8 out of 5. Uh, probably is not the right time of year to be drinking this, obviously, but I did see it and it was marked down for $1.99, so I had to get it. And yes, the date is past. It's not past. It's, it's past its date, folks. It's from August. Probably been the perfect time to have some of this at that time of the year, the dead of summer. But it was marked down, but hey, it was still fresh in the can. So hey. Hey, hmm, makes me wonder what this is gonna this is gonna taste like. So, ten IBUs um, it has two row and wheat malt malts and Bravo hops. So, so I've um, they've considered this a I say it's a wheat ale, but the others have called it a a fruit field beer or fruit flavored beer, whatever. So. I mean, get this on the mango is right on right, the nose. So, this could be healthy, it's 24%. So, yeah, it's fresh. So, let's have at it, everybody. Cheers. You know, mango flavor's there. Kind of. It says it's a wheat ale. I feel like the more I'm drinking kind of a chilada. One type of chiladas right now. And that was something that was really consuming a lot of during the summer. You know, just for so casually and also you know, this time of year now. It's not too bad. I mean, it's just, you know, it's sessionable. It's only 4%. Um, not getting any of those mentioned of those type of hops that they're, they're mentioning, the Bravo hops in this, but maybe it's beneath, deep down somewhere, underlying, but um, definitely the wheat flavor is there. But I feel like I'm drinking a chilada. One of them chiladas. I did have a mango version. Um, Either might have been from Budweiser, might have been from Corona, uh, or Modelo. More like it probably was the Modelo I had this year, flavored chilada. So, and because I have had many, many reservations about drinking those at all, because you know, chilada, Bloody Marys, everything, tomato juice and all that, the the, the limes and the cilantro and all that stuff. But I was, uh, and the picante flavored. But I was uh, very, you know, been on the fence about it for many. Almost a good while, but uh, when I finally first did did a review and tried one, I was quite impressed. And um, so, I took a leap of faith. I took a jump. I took a risk. So, there. Yeah. Imagine these fruit. Yeah. Imagine trying to imagine in my, in my mind, you know, living out in L.A. You know, hey. Hey, get your fruit, get your fresh mangoes, get your fresh apples. I'm sure plenty of that was going on. I'm sure. You know, this ain't bad. And maybe if I'd known, 
saw this around. Definitely, I would have gotten this in the summer months. Good thing I paid $1.99 for this can, not the other price, but um, but it was marked down, so I guess the, they saw the date and said, yeah. Because sometimes, so most of these stores don't give two bleeps. You know, they will sell the cans. No matter how old the can is, even the size, and even if it's past this date, they'll still sell it at full market market price. And it's like, dude, man, come on. You know, Mr. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Beer Distributor, um, please, you know, update your stock. You know, you know, you know it's past this time, you know. And, of course, same with the, those who are stocking at the stores. You know, you could cut the price down, which is what they did. I brought this at Kroger, by the way. So, and I had my Kroger's card and... But anyway, I was like, you know, $1.99, I'll try it, you know, so. Um, I'm glad they did cut the price down. Um, wheat beers tend to be more consumed in the summertime. I mean, you could have them during, you know, any time of the year. But I would say more, more, you, you see them, I guess best to say, not drinkable. I mean, all of them are drinkable, but, you know, they're more consume in the summer then I would say during the winter months or fall months I mean but but blue moon is out there you know it's, I'm still drink, drinking all everybody likes blue moon so all year round that's not flavored but but something like this that is flavored you know with fruit such as mango or maybe strawberry or some just like the the bush light apple those would be like you know in the realm of a light lager just drink in the summer and just not couple back. And it's at 4% too, you're not going to get into any trouble. So, But again, I feel like I'm drinking a chalada. You know, um, it's fruity. It's a little... You know, pretty, you know, it's very light. And, and that's really much it. You know, nothing really... But it's a good refreshing... Beer, and the day I've had today, I've been mo moving some things, getting things straightened up around here. I'm pretty worn out and beat, so. But anyway. I'll go on because i got other things i got to do right now, so. Um, look, it's a good summer lager. I would say more for the summer than now. Uh, but if you do see it, um, I doubt you will, but if you do see it, you know. I'm not demanding saying you get a can, but just, you know, try it. Just try it, you know. You know, for what it is. Um, I can't think of any food parents. I, this is just something just to kind of sit, knock back with a couple of, you know, a couple of friends, lady friends, and uh, and just reminisce about the day and just enjoy the nice weather, you know, because it's cold here. But if you're in a warm weather climate, you know, you know grab one of these. Um, again, breweries based in L.A., um, only thing I've had from them is the Wolf uh, Pub Session IPA, which is was quite good, and that's I guess is one of their popular beers. Uh, I know Dan Patrick and his radio show they talk about not all the time, but they kicked around mentioned that beer a few times. Um, so on his radio show, but anyway, uh, for it I'm gonna go 8.2. It's good. Um, I don't drink a lot of wheat ales, and again, as you all know, um, I'm more, like I said, adjunct lagers and pilsners and IPAs and stouts. Um, wheat beers, I'll have them, but I'm not really going to rush out and buy them. So, so just is, ain't for me, but, you know, more not just for that time of the year to drink those, but year-round. But, um... So, really good, a nice, good session wheat ale or fruit flavor beer. More enjoyed probably in the summertime than I would say the other season. So, I'm going to go 8.2 for this one. Uh, so, that is a B right there, or close to B minus. B minus B for the Golden Road Mango Cart Mango Wheat Ale. Try it out, check it out. Um, of course, Golden Road owned by AB and Bev. So, a good fruit or field beer or light lager, however you want to describe it, or weed ale, one or the other. So there you go. John Henderson, P.O. The Beverage Rambles. You can keep on watching. So always cheers, live, laugh, and love. <laughs> what did I say? 
Yeah. Mango wheat, mango wheat, mango, mango wheat.